Welcome to another episode of Poor Bin Fima Monkey Sanctuary. My name is Jim Fimensa, a native of Poor Bin and Fima, born and raised in the little towns, some 12 miles or 18 kilometers north of Nkwanza in the Grand Prix region of Ghana. In this short history, we will learn about the existence of two delightful monkeys, the Mona monkey and the black and white colorboss monkey. The survival of these sacred monkeys is mainly due in part to our African culture, tradition, and spiritual worshiping. History has it that at about 1827, the son of the then ruling king of Nkwasa discovered the deity or spiritual god, Dauro was the god's name. The discovery of the spiritual god was surrounded in mystery. When he discovered the spiritual god, it was surrounded by two sets of monkeys, two pairs for a total of four monkeys. The monkeys stayed close by whenever the god went. It was as if they were guarding the fetish god. This strange behavior prompted the chief to consult an oracle. It decreed that the monkeys were the children of the god, and because of this, they were sacred, never to be harmed or killed. At the same time, a similar deity called the Bujo resided in the nearby village of Fima. The two gods or deities became the responsible parents or guardians of the monkeys. You can call it a pact, a bond, or a living arrangement. But this is the sacred underlying circumstances by which we, the natives of Puabin and Fima, came to live with the sets of monkeys. It is the fundamental social undertaking between the deities, Dauro and Abujo, the natives of the twin villages, to respect, to live in harmony, and protect each other. This social arrangement does not in any shape or form indicate that we, the natives, are the direct descendants of the monkeys, as some visitors to the region have speculated. That is a total myth. It is like some ancient Greek mythology. We are not the rebirths or the reincarnation of the monkeys. According to the numerous visitors to the sanctuary, there is no other place on earth where one can find such a wonderful living arrangement. The monkeys are so delightful to be with. Their friendly approaches to people have made them a really beautiful tourist attraction. Increasingly, they are becoming a mercy to believe worldwide tourist attraction. The monkeys are so domesticated, they would in fact snatch food from unsuspecting victims, children, adults, and tourists alike. They would even eat from the palms of your hands to the delight of tourists. Where else can monkeys and people live together in such beautiful harmony. The universities in Ghana did a head count a couple uh, a, a decade ago and found about 3,500 monkeys. From the original four monkeys, we now have a population of about 5,000. It is truly a remarkable phenomenon, never seen anywhere else. Past presidents of Ghana, foreign dignitaries and ambassadors, school children of all ages, university students, tourists have all visited the sanctuary. It is now ranked as the second most attractive and most visited tourist center in all of Ghana. The ecological wonders like the parasite tree will blow your mind away. Come, take the trail through the preserved forest. Come, it is yours to discover. We have the friendly people, the environment, and the delightful monkeys to entertain you. It will be a trip of a lifetime. So come, visit us at Boibin Fima Monkey Sanctuary.